Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the central hub for all the things art, design, and pattern related. In this video, I'm going to be going over uh, pattern styles and motifs, and I'm just gonna be looking at a few notes on my phone, but I will be sure to share the slides with you, of course. And in my opinion, textile design is such a rewarding career. If you have any questions about it at all, make sure to leave me a comment down below while you're watching this video. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so the very first thing that I want to talk to you guys about today are motifs. So you may be wondering, okay, what is a motif? Well, a motif is essentially, essentially a design element that just gets repeated throughout a pattern. So it goes, yeah, it just goes, it gets repeated or stamped like over and over again throughout a pattern or textile design. So a motif can also refer to the subject matter for example, in a floral design, uh, the flower or a bouquet of flowers uh, is considered the motif, right? So a motif can also be a geometric shape or a medallion or really any other type of design element that is going to be kind of your central little thingy. <laughs> it's a little thingy. Okay, so what are some common types of motifs? Well, first I want you to check out this book that I absolutely love. It was one of the books I really dove into when I was first getting into textile design and kind of understanding what textile design was all about in the first place. And it is Textile Design's 200 Years of European and American Patterns Organized by Motif, Style, Color, layout and period so be sure to check out that book i will link to it guys in the description below or on my website um, on my resources page so be sure to check that out so i'm just going to be going over some common motifs with you guys and of course the first one is abstract and abstract is kind of hard to define because it is abstract <laughs> by nature so it is basically described as an unrecognizable form or layout and in the textile business, the word just abstract is used to describe a non-objective motif, okay? So that's one way of saying it. Um, and it really cannot be described any other way. So the next type of motif is batik. And batik is basically a design with a tie-dyed appearance created uh, by coating parts of the cloth not to be dyed with removable wax. So batik designs are often comprised of natural dyes and natural colors, which can be indigo, dark brown, or white. And certain patterns have historic meaning and can only be worn by nobility. So that's an interesting fact for you guys today. Another really common type of motif is going to be diamond, which I'm sure is pretty self-explanatory for you guys, but it's basically just a pattern whose elements are arranged along diagonal diamond lines. Florals are another type of motif, and of course that's also, I'm sure, pretty self-explanatory, but it's basically just any design that's using flowers and other nature type of elements or botanicals, um, such as seed, pods, leaves, and even marine plants. So ecot is another type of pattern design created by tie-dyeing either warp or the weft, uh, which are the two yarns that are made to create a, or to create woven textiles. Um, but you tie dye the warp or weft threads prior to weaving the fabric or, a, or it can be a design that's basically simulating this technique. So it's basically a design that has kind of a global look and the design has this sort of zigzag going in it, almost like a heart monitor. So a medallion is another type of motif and it is basically a circular part of the design in the shape of like a disc, oval, diamond, hexagon, or other kind of rotational figure. And it's typically used with mirror symmetry, but it can be asymmetrical if it was hand drawn or something like that. But it's often used as the center, as a focal point of an engineered designed or an organic part of the motif. Another really common motif is going to be paisley, and I'm sure you're also familiar with paisleys, um, but it's basically a stylized a teardrop shape um, that often has a lot of like botanical elements in it that are very stylized, and it appears on cashmere shawls, and it's mass produced in Paisley, Scotland. Suzani is another type of motif that is traditionally a type of embroidered and decorative technique, and 
Um, it's a tribal textile that was traditionally made in Uzbekistan and Central Asian countries, but it has been highly commercialized and highly popularized in Western countries as well. Um, and it's been kind of adapted to look like a medallion with graphic and sometimes kind of floral elements. So let's move on to pattern styles. One example is modern. So I'm sure it makes sense that modern is going to be a type of pattern style that you could potentially work in. Another type of style is traditional. So some styles are just going to be more traditional. Um, another good style is kind of this global or eclectic or boho look, which is going to kind of, I don't know, be <laughs> kind of like anthropology, I guess you could compare it to. So I hope that makes sense for you guys in the slide as well. Um, another type of style is transitional or casual. Now, sometimes people get confused with transitional because it is a little bit of a catch all, but basically it's kind of like traditional, but it's not as stiff and it's not as fancy. So a lot of times the pattern is a little bit more open. Um, there might not be like, such a, an ornate border or something like that, that might be kind of chopped off. Um, so that's kind of a good way to understand transitional designs. So another really interesting style um, is glam. And so this is one that, I don't know if it's gonna be around forever, but it's sort of this style that's a little bit more feminine. It's sort of glitzy, glammy, and it contains a lot of metallics. Other than that, it is a little bit of a combination between modern and transitional styles so it's very livable it's very easy um, but it does have sort of that uh, fancy element to it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you are new to my channel hello and welcome i'm lauren leslie if i haven't properly introduced myself yet um, but i'm so excited that you're here and again if you are interested in learning more about textile design leave me a comment look in the Check the description because I have a free workshop and my masterclass textile star. Also, if you want to hang out on Facebook, uh, please try to join my Facebook group uh, at the Design Tribe, Lauren Leslie. I also have a podcast version of the Design Tribe. Um, you do have to have your email and answer all three questions to be able to join this free community, but it's such a great place to connect with other designers. So I would love to see you over there. And if you're hanging out on Instagram, uh, check me out at Lauren. In Leslie Studio. I'd love to chat with you in the DMs and in my Instagram stories. Guys, make sure to subscribe, click the little bell, and I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.